So today I wanted to talk about a low power output issue on my Kenwood TS590S. It's the, the first version of it. Um, later on it was changed to TS590SG. Okay, here's my, my problem. Uh, the radio functions overall just as designed. It's uh, actually a great radio, I don't have any complaints. Um, just recently I found out after I uh, added a linear amplifier and the amplifier wasn't putting out as much as I was hoping. Um, and then after a little bit of fumbling around I found out this uh, my radio only uh, pushes an average of between 65 to 70 watts on a CW dead key uh, where there was supposed to be doing about 100 watts and the same with on SSP uh, PA, PEP is about yeah it's just about the same maybe maybe 70 70 watts at peaks um, that's quite a difference from the um, um, 100 watts that is supposed to have or at least close to 100 watts I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't fuss if it would put put up 90 watts or 95 but 70 65 to 70 watts that's a uh, that's kind of low so right from the get-go I wanted to mention uh, yes it is updated to the newest firmware um, I read all over the Kenwood pages or, or website there's or none of the firmware updates even addresses any kind of a low power output um, not sure if there's any adjustments I can do uh, everything is basically on a factory setting on the radio I tried different things too um, but nevertheless the the power output doesn't change you know it is pushing the max um, 65 to 70 watts um, the meter inside the radio is of course a little bit off so I Sorry about that. Um, so I, um, of course, checked it with an external meter, which is, well, pretty much precise. I actually used two different meters just to be to be on the safe side, and it um, shows the same, 65 to 70 watts on a dead key, and our S SSB pushing maybe whistling into the microphone. Yeah maybe 70 watts so I will um, start with showing what the meter of the radio actually shows so this is um, 20 meter band on CW setting 100% output while well, the power output is set to 100% or 100 watts whatever it's supposed to be on the um, uh, on the radio and uh, fed into a 50 ohm dummy load so um, this should be like basically a SWR of zero and no signal of course is going out to the airwaves to, since I'm doing this testing so from what I can gather on this meter it's well I don't know if that's supposed to be 100 watts there um, but in reality it just isn't you know so this is what the meter shows on the radio so now I'll switch it over to a much more precise meter so this shows um, about 75 watts maybe maybe 80 with a lot of imagination it's a bit shy of uh, 80 watts still on the CW dead key 100% um, output so I'm gonna regulate it down just to make sure this all works so yeah this is with 100% um, or 100 watt power output setting on the radio I'm going down now so the radio is set now to 50 watt power uh, drop down to 40 on this scale here 
and now 5 watts well this is the only thing that's kind of seems to be okay the 5 watts that's supposed to be 10 still pretty close 20 well 20 watt setting on the radio it shows 15 watts output here um, 30 watts setting on the radio shows 20 watts here and again 50 shows um, 40 that's supposed to be 75 watts um, show 60 watts so as I'm going up it keeps on progressively um, deviating from the supposed to power output so this is again at a at a hundred or percent or hundred watt output a radius pushing 80 watts at this point in time now I'm switching to AM which the radio is only rated with 25 watts so that's okay so this is what it shows uh, on a dead key on AM uh, it's supposed to be 25 watts it's uh, pushing barely about what 18 from what I can tell um, on the radio itself it shows um, 25 on the um, yeah on the meter on the radio which is um, I don't believe it it's <laughs> Uh, like I said, this this uh, external meter here is the second one I'm using, and they're both basically showing the same same output levels. So now the final test, um, going going on SSB, uh, upper sideband, still 20 meter band. So I'm speaking now into the microphone, as I would just speak as I'm um, using the radio. Um, microphone gain turned up on 100% using actually a Kenboard MC60 microphone which is really really uh, perfect for this this radio uh, I constantly get good audio reports whoever I talk to so there's nothing wrong with that and um, so clearly to see um, the radio is going up and down between 20 and 40 watts normal talking so and of course I'm gonna try to peek it out by whistling in it and see what it does. Yeah, it's barely reaching uh, almost 80 watts. You know, again, it should be it should be definitely be higher. Uh, I'm looking at a 20 to 25 percent or lower output than the radio should actually have. So um, I don't think this is correct. Um, I can't see anything um, that I could adjust on the radio. I don't know if there's any internal adjustments. I almost doubt it. Um, and I also did find lots of um, posts on the internet that uh, many people complaining about the same issue. So I don't know what the fix is because so far nobody has uh, come up with one, you know. Um, I don't know if that's something I just have to deal with and say okay that's just the way it is or if there's indeed a, a trick or something in the in the internal settings of the radio which are the ones it uh, has in, in all the menu settings there there doesn't seem to be anything of that nature you know because the the power output setting is pretty clear you know you push on the power button on the on the radio and then you have to dial to the right everybody who has that radio knows exactly what I'm talking about and that's the only thing I have found out that this uh, radio can uh, be adjusted regarding the power output. So yeah, my question to everybody is, number one, if you have the same radio, either the, the uh, TS590S or even the SG, um, could you please leave a comment about your experience, how much power it puts out? And I really don't mean uh, what you see on the meter that's on the radio. This thing just bounces up and down too quick. Um, well, right now it's only only showing also like just about 60, 70 watts on that on that thing as I'm speaking in here. Um, still showing higher than than its external meter, which I truly believe this external meter is much more precise. Uh, it has the the peak hold, of course, which I right now activated, so it keeps the needle more steady. Again, I'm uh, whistling in it and see what it does. Audio, 
audio. I can't even get it that high doing that, only by whistling in it. Yeah, that's all it does. So yeah, again, this is the um, CW dead key, basically. Um, power output, as you can see on the display on the radio, is at 100% or 100 watts, whatever it's supposed to be. I don't know if they mean percentage with this or if they mean really actual watts. I believe they actually mean the actual watts. Uh, and on the uh, again on the scale on the radio with a little bit of imagination it appears to be 100 watts but then again this external meter down there on my antenna tuner shows 78 to 80 watts and uh, the only reason why I actually started noticing this because uh, I just bought this uh, linear amplifier the Kenwood um, TL922A which is supposed to um, easily produce about a thousand watts or 1200 depends on what PEP and um, after tuning this amplifier in and also on the, the dummy load so I could make sure there's nothing off on the SWR um, the amplifier um, on the dead key was sitting at about 550 watts uh, sometimes it would go up to 600 depends on if I change the frequency around a little bit uh, and on uh, SSB PEP was pushing anywhere between uh, 700 to 800 watts. Um, according to the um, manual of the amplifier, it, uh, Kenwood recommends between 80 to uh, a maximum of 120 watts, which I know, of course, the radio is not going to push out 120 watts no matter what, but um, so I'm losing probably 20% or something on the output power on the amplifier. It's not a big thing because, you know, 6-700 watt is plenty for me and I uh, can reach anybody I want to. Uh, it just like bothers me that uh, this radio is rated with an X amount of power output and it doesn't deliver it. Again, uh, to, to make this uh, clear so I don't get uh, millions of the same feedbacks here the firmware is updated to the latest one I think it's version 1.2 or something they don't update it anymore lo anymore because uh, this is the previous model of this those the two series it is the 590s not the SG um, I don't know what really the difference is I have something to do probably with a little bit uh, more internal settings you know yet the uh, I think the final drive is pretty much identical on both radios you know um, all the all the the settings there's uh, there's no equalizer uh, speech equalizer activated you know it's just a regular everything on on default settings um, and yet this shouldn't even have to, anything to do with the CW um, or the AM carrier dead key you know I mean this is this is clearly shows you know um, let's forget about the, the, the SSBs. Uh, one could argue uh, the microphone is not pushing up uh, out enough or I'm not blowing in hard enough. I understand all that. Um, but the dead key, you know, the, the dead carrier, um, it should be closer to 100 watts. So my, my, my final question is, you know, so please if anyone has a clue what is going on, um, I don't think there's something wrong on the final drive that I don't think the transistor is shot because if uh, I don't know how many are in there are probably going to be two transistors in there to produce 100 watts if one would be shot then it probably wouldn't even go that high um, I don't know if that could be weak um, I don't think that could happen on the transistor um, I bought the radio used about like four or five six months ago uh, like I said, I used it for the, lo the, the longest part without an, without a linear on it, and our, it worked perfectly fine. I could do lots of DXing, got always good signal reports back. So apparently, 60, 70 watts, you know, um, uh, considering I got a good antenna, just still reached out there. And uh, just lately, I you know, a week ago, I added that linear amp, and that's when when all this are, uh, um, well enlightening started that radio doesn't push out what it's supposed to okay well 
thank you for watching please leave comments um, uh, if you have a suggestion other than telling me send it off to Kenwood it's <laughs> it's not gonna happen I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on a radio that's worth five six hundred bucks you know we all know how that goes you know um, I also don't want to have anybody just opening the radio and fumbling around and uh, you know yeah, everybody knows what what I mean you know so or is it or is it just something that I have to live with and that's just it you know um, I've watched other YouTube clips where people showing clearly this thing is pushing a hundred watts you know so I don't know <laughs> Yeah, again, please leave comments and thank you very much for taking your time watching this uh, video. This is Kilo Yankee 4 X-Ray Victor 73.